Greetings, back again here, and as you can see, I have my Neo Geo MVS one slot board here, and uh, I've been reading a bit about these uh, MVS boards, and I've been watching some videos, and I found out that the uh, common problem with the uh, uh, with these MVS boards is that uh, the battery will eventually start leaking, and the battery acid will actually start eating through the uh, traces on the board which of course will uh, create all kinds of problems so what I'm gonna do here to prevent that from happening to to my board is I'm going to be replacing the battery so uh, this board here this is uh, the MV1A model and there are several different uh, uh, revisions of uh, the one slot board and they all look a bit different um, and this one and the uh, what's it called MV one FZ I think uh, look pretty uh, similar. I think they have all the same components and the layout is the same. But uh, <coughs> a lot of the other uh, variations of the board will look a bit different. So if you have one of the other boards, this video might not be that uh, that helpful. Uh, <coughs> but anyway, on this board, uh, the battery is located underneath uh, the plastic uh, casing here. So we have to remove this, and uh, this is uh, held down by uh, uh, four screws. Got one in each uh, corner here. So I have removed those. So this can just be lifted up like this. And uh, over here uh, we have uh, the battery. Now the original batteries are uh, uh, rechargeable ones and you could uh, replace them with uh, another rechargeable battery. Uh, I know some people put in uh, a supercapacitor instead. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in a uh, non-rechargeable battery. So I have this... Uh, oops, I dropped it. Uh, and this battery socket here, which I got off of an, uh, an old PC motherboard. Uh, so I'm going to put this here, and this will hold just a regular uh, CR2032 uh, battery, which you can find just about anywhere. So, yeah, we, have, we need to start by removing uh, the old battery here, and to do that, we'll have to turn the board over here <coughs> and on most of these boards you will find this uh, this here is some kind of uh, protective padding here which is actually glued to the board so I'm gonna have to uh, remove that so I'll uh, um, I'll do that and then we'll take a look at what's underneath here Alright, so here are the components that were uh, located under that uh, piece of protective padding and it's uh, this area here that we're interested in. Now this pin here and this one here, these are the ones that hold uh, the battery in place. So I'm going to have to desolder uh, those two. and. Uh, since I'm putting in a non-rechargeable battery, I also have to disable the uh, charging function. And to do that, I'm going to have to remove these three components here. These are marked D1, D2, and R10. So I'll have to desolder those. And as I mentioned uh, about the uh, the board with uh, the model number. MV1FZ or FC. Uh, as I said, that looks very similar to this. Uh, the layout here is a little bit different, but you will find the same three components in this area here. Although I think this uh, R10 is marked R3 uh, on on that board, but uh, here it's R10. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and desolder 
the battery and I'm going to remove the components. Alright, so here I have the battery and the three components removed. So now I can go ahead and uh, solder the new uh, battery socket. So here's uh, the socket in place and when uh, soldering this onto the board here make sure you get the uh, positive end of the socket here to the positive side on the on the board here and uh, yeah here's the the old battery so now we can put the the new one in here and we can give this a try Alright, so here we have the MVS board up and running again. And I've been trying out the new battery here, and it seems to be working just fine. So, hopefully, my board here will be safe from now on. And uh, yeah, that's uh, all I had to show you this time. So, bye for now, and I'll see you soon.